Hello from the National Weather Service in Pocatello. This is a Southeast Idaho weather hazard briefing for Tuesday, May 7th. Here's an overview of our satellite Im imagery this morning. There's uh, a couple of systems that we're keeping a, keeping, tra uh, keeping track of. Uh, there is this upper low that is circulating down over Lake Havasu, Arizona, and that's kind of bringing some of this moisture. It's kind of wrapping it up, up around the Four Corners area and into Wyoming. Uh, and then we also have this upper disturbance that's kind of tracking in from the northwest, and those two uh, systems are going to uh, interact throughout the day today generating some showers, some thunderstorms. Further upstream, we got bridging. Uh, pretty decent ridge uh, holding uh, steady uh, there at about 140 west or so, and uh, that should uh, continue to track eastward. Here, taking a look at the radar loop, uh, already seeing some showers developing up around Island Park, all the way back down to the craters of the moon area. So, uh, thunderstorm, or thunderstorms will probably be be developing later on throughout the day as we start to warm up. Uh, taking a look at the surface map, a pretty complex scenario. A couple of uh, a weak fronts, a uh, stationary front uh, generally uh, positioned uh, just over eastern Idaho, and then another uh, weak cold front down over to our south. So, uh, fairly uh, widespread showers, uh, possibly some isolated thunderstorms developing throughout the day. Not expecting any severe weather out of this, just some uh, basic uh, round-of-the-mill thunderstorms. And uh, here's the uh, map of where those thunderstorms are expected to develop uh, for today. Uh, we may also see some of those uh, storms uh, continuing in through tomorrow. But uh, forecast uh, right now, we're just kind of focusing on what's going on today. I'll bring uh, give you a little uh, preview of what, uh, what's to come tomorrow. Uh, here in a minute, but uh, just taking a look at our forecast radar for this afternoon. Uh, early to mid-afternoon hours, probably see some of these thunderstorms develop up around the Arco Desert area. Uh, the general track of these storms are going to be down to this, uh, towards the south or uh, down towards the southeast. So uh, Pocatello, Burley, uh, Blackfoot might be uh, seeing some thunderstorms uh, later on this evening or this afternoon and evening. So uh, just be prepared for that. Uh, could see some uh, decent outflow winds out of those, maybe 35 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour. Again, nothing really severe expected for today. Uh, now, as that upper disturbance moves through, we're going to be looking at uh, some fairly strong northerly or northeasterly winds tomorrow. And that is uh, important because the American Falls Reservoir here is pretty sensitive to that northeasterly flow. And so uh, there might be some issues with some choppy waters. So if you're in a small boat, uh, you might want to avoid the uh, American Falls Reservoir uh, tomorrow afternoon as those winds pick up. Here we'll take a look at some of the temperatures, the uh, forecast temperatures today. Uh, highs up in the uh, 60s uh, here in the Snake River Plain. Uh, probably see about the same tomorrow. We're going to see uh, these 60 degree temperatures up until about uh, Friday or Saturday, and as we take a look at a Saturday, again we see 70 degree temperatures uh, back in the area. Uh, as we go into Sunday, we might even see temperatures uh, approaching 80 degrees here in the eastern Magic Valley, so just uh, look forward to a nice, uh, pleasant, uh, warm weekend. And in the meantime, this is what we have for our current uh, uh, headlines. Uh, basically, we just have a, a flood advisory up in the Haley area. Uh, seeing a little bit of additional snow melt coming off the mountain peaks there. That's why we're seeing the increased flows down in the Wood River range. So uh, just be uh, cautious if you're uh, driving through that. Uh, don't drive through flooded areas. Looking at a wind advisory out here in the uh, southwestern part of Idaho. Um, this western Magic Valley as you head up towards Boise. So just be aware of that. And that's going to conclude our weather briefing for this morning. If you have any questions, give us a call. For a more detailed forecast, go to weather.gov slash Pocatello. And uh, if you want to leave some comments, there's an email address that you can do that. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day.